another day and look how beautiful the atmosphere is look at that second sunday boy look at that i am out here to meet up with some fans how y'all doing man wow I'm the reason you guys are here? <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Pleased to meet you. Hi, Adriana. Adriana. Hey, my Daniel. friend. Nathaniel. Pleased to meet you. And, and Inchen from Shen. Kitchener, Ontario. Ontario? Oh, Canada. Yeah, we're from Canada. Kitchener. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, and you're one of the reasons why after 30 years, 20 years, we're coming back to Canada. Wow, wow. And I really appreciate this that, This is man. a big fan of yours. <laughs> life can't get better than this, right? Yeah, life can't get better. Who you want to say hi to your grandmother? Oh, yeah. You say, say hi to your grandmother. Hi. In, uh, in where she is? In Toronto. Her come to come to sorry. Yeah, come to. <laughs> so, all these folks that you here? Yes. yes. So, yeah, I got a whole bus load there, boy. Yeah, we can have a whole bus load Nice, yeah, nice. This is my wife, Sherry. Oh, hi, 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 yes. Sherry. Nice hi. to meet you. Yes, yeah, my daughter. Hi. Okay. Hey, son, nice to meet you, man. Hello, guys. Yeah. These are all our family. Family. Our oh, nice. So you guys went all the way to quarantine? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. And we wanted to, we wanted to come and say hi to you and we enjoy your show. Right, right. So, yeah, so Appreciate it, really man. Well, I had to come out here to say hello yes. to you guys, man, yeah, because, you know, appreciate. when you said 30 yeah. years you don't come here for, yes. I said, no, nah, no, nah, I have to come see you guys, yeah, all right? I have to go and see you guys. You want to say hello to anybody back there? Yes, we want to say every hi to everybody in Kitchener and in Toronto, right. um, especially our mom and dad, Ms. O and Ms. Rizzo Morali. No problem, man. Yeah, no the problem. whole family, uh -huh. uh, Amin's family. All right, what a all pleasure. Right, nice to meet you too. Yeah. Say hi to everybody, Nate. Hi. <laughs> say hi to all your My school kids. man. <laughs> all right, it's a pleasure, pleasure He's a meeting you too. Yeah. He's a big fan. All right, yeah, you want yeah. to say hello to anybody? You want to show anybody? I think he got it. He got, got it all. <laughs> what about you, man? Yeah, all our friends in Kitchener, Toronto. All right. Everyone, Diane, Simeon, no Sean, problem. everybody. No problem, yeah, man. Yeah. It's a pleasure <laughs> meeting you guys and keep watching the show, man. I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you, buddy. One love. Yeah. Now look. Life can't get better than this, eh, man? Look how run into some fans, eh? Where are you guys from? Hi! Right. Let them! Let them! <laughs> Pleased to meet we you. We're really, really lucky for you. Oh, yeah, man. Up. Yeah, man. Life couldn't get better. Look, we're fun, them, man. Let me see. Let me see what's going on already back here. Hello! You see, you see the AR, you know? How are y'all doing? Yeah. You good? I'm coming back to let them soon, you know. <laughs> All the time they wanted, they could finally get to meet you. Yeah, you know, yeah, but the, the video. Yeah, but now you are going to be part of the show. <laughs> All right? Pick up yourself. Who you want to pick up and let them there? Who you want to shout out? Oh, yeah, I'm freezing so well. Don't be shy. You want to shout out to your friend from school? Oh, my gosh. What's your friend's name? Isabella. Isabella? Who else? Who else? Who else? Don't be shy, this all right. Giovanni? All right. And who you want to shout out? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. It was a pleasure right. meeting you all, right? All Life right. can't get better. Hey, yeah. Yeah, hey, man. Don't hey, know. Man. Yeah, who do you want to shout out? Who do you want to say hello to? I want to say hello to all my family from St. Ignatius. St. Ignatius? Yes, St. Ignatius. All right. What you just said? Watch oh, you watch a video? Yeah, wow, wow. Watch all the and videos. You guys have a bus service. M and D. Let, let, let me just show. Yes. You work from Georgetown to let to let them. One second, let me just show these numbers. So we have M and D bus service here, and these are all the numbers you can get them. In case you need a ride from Georgetown to let them and back. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. It's a pleasure meeting you, Alma. All right. Nice. All right, yes. Take it easy. Yes. So when I come back later, I'm going to start you out. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right? Yeah, I'll take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. Take it easy. Yeah. All right. Life can get better. All right. So we got another fan coming up there. <laughs> I run into a lot of fans here to see you all, man. Look, here's another big fan of yours. Hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, life can't get better, man. I'm doing all right. Pleasure meeting you, all right? Yeah. Yes. Life yeah. can't get better life than this. Life can't get better than this, yes. yeah, man. Yeah. You're the reason why we come here. Come to Guyana. Yes. Wow, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah, man. And look at all these lovely folks here. Where, where them guys? These guys, let's see. Let me see. Which one are you? Who, who does watch my show? Let me see. Me and Barbie's girl. This one, hey, Barbie's girl. I'm the bride. I'm the bride. 
Oh, you, oh right to me, congratulations. Thank you. Thank Don't worry. You. Hopefully, I might come to the wedding. You never know. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the beauty of the setting sun. Let me go for a walk on the on the beach. Let me get a park in here and go for a walk. You know, I see some construction going on there, boy. Like we can get some roof garden at the top there, you know. You know the beach looking up good, you know, but I don't know when. I mean you have some disposal to run here, but these things just be in some really deplorable condition, right? I don't know when they're gonna finish constructing these things by all these little um, stands for how many months now since last year these things building it's going at a slow pace man all right oh and this is nice we have a police outpost out here now this is this is awesome so you don't have to be afraid no more to come on the beach you got a police outpost all right so those of you a lot of things going on here look more things constructing here all right those of you who are afraid to come out on the um beach don't be afraid anymore there's a police outpost here so you have police presence here but i hope 24 7. i can't give my mouth liberty and then i see like surveillance camera also out here i gotta i gotta check and i thought they were surveillance cameras too but let me let me check oh yes up ahead they have surveillance cameras so yes that is two good thing they're doing surveillance camera and security of course we got pipes this is another great initiative so the see you are looking up all nice all right if may not been come may not been no some more things are building here not sure what these are or what they're gonna construct here but you know things are building and Oh, all the way through there one of his little stands or little huts they're gonna build here to sell for the you know like little huts like that to sell refreshments you know not sure but the beach looking up all nice i like what i see so this is really developing as a tourism destination but the one thing i keep asking for well, it's two things. One is the garbage. Well, it looked a little clean, a little bit cleaner today. You know, that's so much garbage here right now. You need to have a crew of five or six people with a tractor trailer clean the beach every single day because the tides bring in garbage every day. So you need to have a crew that clean up every single day. Here, man. Look at the beauty of that setting sun there, boy. Life couldn't get any better than this, man. Beautiful as can be. You can come here, relax, get some fresh air. You know, lime. You can kind of sell lime, right? It means you hang out there. Or you just chill and just enjoy the cool atmosphere here, man. Beautiful as can be. Alright? See, through the um, line there, a lot of folks there on the, the beach here. But you can see, look, they are garbage. Not so much, but they are garbage. But if they can if they can get a crew cleaning this every day as the tide recedes you can clean this up tomorrow another set of garbage gonna come again and stop I, I will ask folks to stop dumping garbage in the waterways please stop dumping garbage in the waterways all right not only here in guyana but around the world let's keep the world clean let's protect nature all right so that is one thing i want the garbage to be eradicated from or to clean up every day and the other thing is from that jetty down here sheet piling it all the way all the way to the other jetty by behind selino now if you sheet piling that and you put rocks and dirt and, and you you backfill it and set up a, a two three hotel chains on top of this um, beach here and some fast food chains man this is gonna be the number one tourist destination in Guyana trust me this Kingston Seawall Kingston Beach all right we need a few um, hotel chains fast food chains you know beachfront man like how you have the big hotel here you can have a few more little ones because not everybody could afford to go at the high-end hotel the, these two to, to my right if you get some smaller one like how South Beach there in Miami man get a few of the um, 
smaller hotels that may be a little more cheaper. You can hang out on the deck, drink a beer, enjoy the atmosphere, and then you could you could sleep right there. All right, that's my two cents. I hope that materialize one day. Somebody can take it into consideration. All right, we got a sign here falling apart. And people hardly cleaning up the beach anyways. They don't leave footprints, they leave garbage. Hey. Beautiful afternoon, the sunlight are slipping away and more and more folks are coming onto the beach you not know, to enjoy the beach man. Once we clean up this place man and beautify it man, a lot of folks are gonna come here for a walkthrough. All who visit Guyana are gonna come for a walkthrough, trust me. Alright, so couldn't get any better than this. Hope you guys enjoying the afternoon here with me. You're enjoying the sunset, the beach, like I am doing. Alright. The goodness continue. So I spoke to the officer who advised me the policing outpost is gonna be 24, 24 hours. So you don't have to be worried. So those of you who are afraid to come to Guyana, come to the beaches or especially by the bandstand, there are gonna be police presence here for 24 hours. So you don't have to be afraid. You can come out now and enjoy the beach. Don't be afraid of that, all right? I'm heading up on the, the beach behind the Marriott. Looks like I got some session here tomorrow. Oh yeah, tomorrow's Emancipation. So we're gonna have some big vibes up here tomorrow. So I was here yesterday to do a cookout, but I thought they were having something last night on the beach. But it's not last night. Tomorrow gonna be the vibes day for Emancipation. Three bars setting up there. A lot of folks out here celebrating, enjoying the um, afternoon while some folks are preparing. But look at the bottle in the middle there, man. Them folks got little things in their car trunk there by doing it. Doing the thing, you know, they're celebrating it, but they start celebrating from today. People like the camping out from tonight, you know. Down here, having fun, man. Nice, nice. Let me take you guys out on the um, beach here. You know, to watch what's left of the sunset. Now that's what's left of the sunset there. You know, folks will come out here and enjoy the afternoon. The water is kind of calm right now. It's receding right now. The tides are receding. Very calm. You see a trawler and a patrol, police patrol boat out there, the Coast Guard boat. this opportunity to wish everyone a happy emancipation especially my African brothers and sisters happy emancipation from myself my family and team ARD up ahead there you can see the ship dock there that's the man-made island that they created for the gas project the island gas project or or the gas project I can't remember the project name but Right across there. I just can't stop watching the sunset. It's so beautiful. Beautiful as can be. Alright. Hey, it's beautiful out here, man. A lot of window. Alright. Oh, wow. Good afternoon, folks. Oh, yeah. Do you follow my channel? Oh, wow. You follow my YouTube show. <laughs> Where are you guys from? So I run into someone from Trinidad here. Do you know the show? You don't know? Alright, my, my name is Danny Passat. I'm a Guyanese YouTuber, right? Please okay. check out my channel, man, right? And welcome to Guyana. Okay. You, you enjoying Guyana so far? Yes, I've enjoyed it. Lovely. What's your name? Savage. Savage, it's a pleasure meeting you, alright? Alright, and what's up, my friend? Pleased to meet you, man. Good job. 
What's your name? Money Ram. And this young lady knows my show. <laughs> Thank you very much for following me, all right? Alem Hassan, Alem. Something Gilbak also. <laughs> What's your name, man? Hassan. Hassan, pleased to meet you, man. Happy emancipation, all right? In advance. To each and every one of you, all right? Happy emancipation. It's a pleasure. Good to you guys. All right. More and more folks coming out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of the beach here or seawall, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's an update of what's going on. Once again, happy emancipation to all my Guyanese and everyone around the world. Especially, especially my African brothers and sisters here in, at home and around the world. The music pumping up there, boy. Huh. So I'll tell you, come alive tomorrow. Last year, Selena and I, we were out here on Miss Lynch and so. So let me give you guys a little tour of what the beach looks like at 6.30. Monday afternoon the last day of July 2023 as I mentioned earlier tomorrow is emancipation day and you know we got big celebrations in Guyana it's a holiday let me give you guys a tour of the beach here you know heading up to the um, Selena jetty a lot of folks are gonna be out here tonight since tomorrow is a holiday so we're gonna start the party guys love to party and we're gonna start the party here you know vibes and party into tomorrow into the holiday because tomorrow is freedom day it's a day to celebrate to be happy to be free and that's what we are going to be doing as a Guyanese as a Guyanese people all right see how I'm going to stand here Han, imagine if you have a boardwalk out here by a lot of folks will come out and enjoy you know but Guyana is developing it's getting better things are happening you know more places that are being created you know towards destination restaurants recreational places you know things are happening in Guyana but very slowly one would expect you know things to happen you know more fast since that we are I guess the fastest growing economy right now in South America or I guess around the world you know one would expect our tourism sector to boost you know and to grow as fast as possible because the amount of you know visitors that's gonna come in here and also our security sector needs to boost up its presence you know and not forgetting the disposal service the people are the responsible for the garbage we need to clean the city and clean up Guyana and we the Guyanese people have a responsibility to keep Guyana clean all right yeah man they need to work fast man you know create more places for more people to enjoy I pass my girl see touchy and granny you know number one barbecue man when you're in Guyana check out the barbecue stand there Caribbean flavors tasty barbecue you see the bushes growing up right now on my left that's the mangrove trees so y'all better come and enjoy this beach now because sooner than later when these trees get big you might not be able to see the beach at, you know behind the trees of course you can get everybody crowded behind the marriott but this part here then 
you know, we're gonna lose the beach at this party, I guess. You know, everybody just hang on. It's already now, you know, 6.30 or 6.35 to be exact. So a lot of folks didn't come out as yet, but a lot of folks will come out here later on. It's just tomorrow is a holiday. All right, so once again, I wanna say happy emancipation to everyone around the world, especially my African brothers and sisters. Here at home, and the diaspora and around the world. All right, look at this little um, boardwalk here, man. Beautiful as can be. You know, I love to come out here and, um, and you know, enjoy the cool atmosphere. Imagine you have more of this all the way down behind Kingston. How amazing that's gonna be. So I wanna thank you for the privilege of your time. Hope you enjoyed the little tour of the Kingston Beach slash seawall. Take care of you, do fun things. God bless you all. Peace out. And I will see y'all on the Nether Adventure.